watching this film and even listening to the remarks that I've heard from uh, the neighbors that are here, it's one thing for sure that racism is alive and well. Um, individuals have certain um, stereotypes about different groups of folks, and some will express it, and, and, and racism is still here. I don't want anyone to, to think that we're not dealing with racism, because, because we are. Also, uh, in, in saying that, in dealing with relationships, I think we, if we first deal with one another as, as individuals, as a person, sometimes we say things that are hurtful, whether it's about a gay issue, whether it's about uh, someone black, we will say things or react to individuals that are, that's hurtful, then that impedes our ability to work with one another in the community. Because you have the stereotype, you've said something to the other person, so when you walk by down the street, you're, walk, you're just walking and, and not realizing who that person is. And it's your neighbor. They can live two doors down from you. But we're not treating each other as neighbors. So racism, you're saying, is a force that's shaping the nature of relationships that we have. I think so. It gets in the way. Huh. What do we have to give up to change the relationships? What do people have to, not take, I'm talking about what do you have to give up to change those relationships, to make them different than maybe how they are on the screen? I think it's, it's not about black and white, it's about green. That's what it all boils down to. It's about people that have something and, and those that don't have anything. And I think for the community to move forward, they have to look at the people that don't have anything and try to bring them up to the same standards. And it's pretty simple. And, and it's about groups, whether it's white, black, uh, gay, lesbian. If you vote, you get what you want. If your group votes, you can get some things done. If your group don't vote, you don't get anything. And that's the bottom line, I think. 